Perry McMahon with UKFightSite.com. I'm down here at Team Titan with Mike Ekandeo. Uh, Mike, the title fight set now for Cage Warriors 100, um, 8th of December, on Saturday 8th of December in uh, the Ice Arena in Wales. When they say, you know, like, how, why the gym is doing so well now, it's because guys are tired and it's because <laughs> doing well now, right? <laughs> <laughs> Brad Pickett, just giving you a few pointers for you and <laughs> you making sure. <laughs> Um, the fight's finally been made now. Yeah. Um, it was kind of out there for a bit, wasn't it? The, the guys, the fans were calling for that fight, uh, Jack Shaw versus Mike Akindeo. Uh, how did it finally come about? Um, how did it finally come about? Well, it's only right, it's only right, it's only right. I feel like I've, I've beat incredible guys, so it's only right, it's only right to have me fight for the belt. I can make weight. I fought legit guys, so yeah, man, it's all it's only right. Yeah. Um, Jack's also undefeated. Uh, how do you feel you match up with him? How do I feel I match up? Yeah. I got this. I just feel <laughs> like I got this, man. Yeah. I just feel like um, yeah, he's he's undefeated. Yeah. Yeah, he's undefeated. He's nine and all. Had had an undefeated amateur record as well, but the caliber of guys that I fought. Have been has been class like has been top class. So I feel like the edge the edge is there with me in 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 that sense. Yeah. So yeah, I fought more credible guys than he has. So yeah. Uh, I was in Cardiff for the last fight, at, uh, Cage Warriors uh, '97. Um, the crowd was fantastic. They really got into it. Is there any pressure going into enemy turf uh, <laughs> for for the fight? Nah, no pressure, no pressure, no pressure. We're in Wells, we're in Wells, the arena's in Wells, but in the cage is my house, so yeah, no pressure at all, no pressure at all. Um, of course, they're gonna be, it's gonna be a pro Jack Shaw crowd. I'm aware of it, I'm aware of it, but yeah, man, I just feed off, feed off whatever energy they give off and use it to perform. Yeah, uh, did you see the Jack's last fight at Cage Warriors 97? Yeah, 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 I saw. Yeah, I saw. Yeah. Any opinions on his performance? Obviously, it was a last-minute uh, replacement, mm. Mm. but you know he did what he had to do. Is it? Is it? I feel like it's exactly that. Yeah, he just things things happen in this game. You have to be you have to be ready to adapt. Sometimes, like you might get the pull out and a short notice opponent. You 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 just have to yeah be ready to um, perform and just adapt to whatever's going on so yeah that happened with him and he got the opponent he got and he, he did what he had to do against the, the opponent that presented him himself to him so I've been in that position before it's not the easiest like it's a it's a mind I call it a, it's a mind fuck mm -hmm. car my actual pro debut was like that my opponent pulled out the day before on the weighing day and I was just thinking, what, what what's going on? Like, am I gonna fight? Am I not gonna fight? I've just made weight. Was it was it in vain? Or so a, a lot of things go on in your mind and that. But yeah, man, you, to perform and to perform under those circumstances and still get the win, you can't you can't knock a man. So I've I've been I've been I've been in them shoes. So I know exactly how it feels. So, so yeah, yeah, man, credit to him in in that sense. Yeah. Um. Cage Warriors president, uh, Graham Boylan, he posted up a uh, text message, I think it was on Twitter uh, a few months back, when, yeah. uh, with Jack originally uh, calling for his Cage Warriors 97 bout to be with you. Yeah. And then he said he wanted to fight uh, Nathan, the champion versus champion, uh, later on. Mm -hmm. uh, did you see that and what was your reaction to that? Uh, well, yeah, yeah, I saw that. That was literally just off of me coming off um, fighting at Cage Warriors 95 and I actually picked up an injury before the actual fight that I had, which is normal. You don't always um, end up turning up to a fight 100%. So yeah, I went 100%. I picked up an injury and then had the fight, had the fight, won the fight. And then I was in the process of finding out exactly what's going on with the injury while all of that was happening. So it was annoying seeing all of that, if I'm honest, it was annoying seeing all of that. But yeah, I was just in the process of finding out what's going on with the injury, found out what was going on. And then, yeah, man, just thought it was best to just 
take a bit of time off, um, rehab the injury, etc. And yeah, man, um, fight, fight this fight. We had our eyes set on fighting Cage Warriors 100 anyway. Well, yeah. de- a December card. Because okay. we, we thought that there would be a card in, dece- in December. So, yeah, we had our eyes more set on that. Yeah. Um, we were joking off camera earlier with, you, with your team, but uh, Nathaniel Wood was the last man to hold, yeah. <laughs> hold the title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is this playing any part in, in the run-up to the, um, to the fight? Are you, you know, want to keep the title? Obviously, you want to keep the title in Team Titan. I'm a man of my word. <laughs> I'm a man of my word. I told Nathaniel the belt's not leaving the gym. Like, once he's done and he's moved on, I'm, I'm making sure the belt's not leaving the gym. So I'm staying true to my word. So yeah, man, the belt's not leaving Titans. It's, it's staying put, it's staying put, it's staying where it's meant to stay, man. Everyone knows it. Um, so much going on around Team Titan, Team Titan at the moment. Uh, mm-hmm. Nathaniel, Nathaniel Woods in the UFC. I think they're about yep. to announce his, oppo- his next opponent. Uh, Nathan Grayson's getting ready to defend his uh, belt. At and, still. <laughs> still, and still, and still, and still. Uh, and Ashley Grimshaw's just signed with Bellator. Bellator. Dominic Wood in Santa Bellator. G- George Tukos is signed to Bellator as well. Um, what's it like being at? being part of the team at the moment what's the atmosphere like there's so much going on yeah there's so much going on so much big fights so much big opportunities but it's like when 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 you graft and you put and you put everything into it it's, it's only right these opportunities will come so yeah we've been we've all been grafting as a unit for for years and years and years so all these big opportunities coming now is not really so much of a surprise because of all the hard work we've been putting in we're all we're all hungry we're all hungry hungry MMA fighters so it's only right that we get fed yeah. um, I saw you putting in some work down at 10th Planet uh, Jiu Jitsu in uh, East London mm-hmm. um, do you get much work done down there or how did that come about? that actually came about like after what fight was it what fight was it what fight was it one of my UCMMA fights, so I had two. I think it was the second one. So that is my, that was my um, third. That was my third, yeah, yeah. It was my third MMA fight. My third MMA fight on UCMMA. Um, so yeah, after leaving the cage and I was making my way home, I bumped into Jack Shear and um, Nathan K, mm-hmm. so, which are like two of their, two of 10th Planet's main guys. and. Yeah, they recognised me. I saw them as a familiar face, and then yeah, I stopped and spoke to them, and they, were, they basically invited me down. And then yeah, since since then, it's, I've just always always gone down there. Yeah, I've always gone down there, gone down to their open mat. They've welcomed me with open arms. Um, Jamie Scott, he's a he's a legit coach. Yeah. He he brings a lot of energy to to training, so he makes it he makes it he makes he brings that good vibe to. To train and say, yeah, man. Um, since then, I just never left. So yeah. it's just went there, went there, got invited, then stayed put. It's like it's part of the, they're part of the team now. <laughs> uh, like team Team Titans, obviously your home. But um, mm-hmm. you mentioned earlier uh, that you know you, you're quite busy with your schedule. You work a few places uh, in different areas. Where else are you working at? Well, uh, yeah, I do a lot of. Um, training in various places w- where I can and just just sharpen everything up so yeah I'll be at Titans I'll be at um, I'll be at Titans I'll be at Tenth Planet I could be at Peacocks I could be at Richmond Trainers ri- sorry Richmond Fitness Club mm-hmm. so yeah I, I work uh, I work in different different areas yeah. how are you finding the Peacock Gym? Uh, Peacock is solid yeah. solid it's solid it's solid everyone Everyone knows is is a um, legendary sort of place. Like it's been around for long. It's it's, ha- it's got a lot of credible names that come out of that gym. So yeah, it's it's a it's a good place to get in. It's yeah. a good place to train. Uh, obviously, your 2018 has been really busy. You picked super up busy, super busy. Picked yeah. up the ROC uh, bantamweight title. Yeah, fought on Bellator. Yeah, fought on Cage Warriors co main event. And now fighting on Cage Warriors again, main event, Cage Warriors 100. So far, what's been the, the highlight of 2018? The highlight of 2018? Um, the highlight of 2018? 
it's all a, it's all an experience to be honest i just see i see 28 the whole of 2018 as a as a high point sort of mm-hmm. thing and i have i feel like i've achieved a lot of things in such a short space of time and yeah i see just getting through the whole year as a whole like from the start from the start to finish I see the whole year, the whole the whole 2018 as a highlight. I, I probably will never forget the year 2018 because <laughs> of all the things that has happened. But we keep move, we keep pushing forward, and hopefully, well, not even hopefully, 2019 is going to be bigger and better. So yeah, every year is going to be bigger and better. So I see 2018 as like the highlight now. But once I'm in 2019, 2019 is going to be my highlight. Cause I'm looking to do. I'm looking to do huge things I look huge forward to, look forward to it mate um, just one question obviously uh, Bellator 200 that was uh, was that that was at Wembley Arena yeah Wembley Arena yeah how, how was it uh, fighting on such a big stage was that intimidating at all, at all? nah I've been I've been asked that question like yeah. before before I actually fought on Bellator because obviously I fought on um, Rise of Champions mm-hmm. which is definitely a credible show but is um it's going from Rise of Champions to Bellator and K Drawers etc and um it is seen as um a huge show of course everyone knows Bellator's a huge show but um when I'm in there it's the same. Yeah. It's the same, it's the same. You you, you have to do the same thing, like it's the same punches and kicks that come come forward to you, it's the same potential takedowns that they might potentially shoot. So it's all the same. If anything, I embrace it yeah. more. Like I embrace the crowd. I feed off feed off the energy more. So yeah, man, it's it's all the same. You can put me in front of two people. You can put me in front of two hundred thousand people. It's all it's all the same. Like that. There's no there's no pressure in in that sense with me. Like it's 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 just it's it's what I signed up for. It's what I signed up for. Like I said, like I always say, like um. Yeah, I train. I train. I train for this. I train hard for this. So, I, I, it's only like I, I expect all of it. Like when it's all, all the big shows and stuff like that. It's not. It's not daunting. It's not. Uh, it's not a um, thing that's gonna make me nervous. It's like I've been grafting for years and years and years for this. Why, when it comes, am I gonna be? Am I gonna crumble? I've. I've. I've set my mind for this years ago. So. When it when it actually comes, it's just normal. It's just normal. Brilliant. Uh, thanks for your time again, mate. Uh, I'm going to let you uh, get on with your day. Um, just for anyone watching, we are going to have you back on the website. We've got mm-hmm. a, a good feature plan with you. So anyone watching, uh, keep your eyes peeled for Mike. And uh, yeah, good luck with the fight, mate. Oh, we got this. <laughs> we got this. Get the strap. Get the strap. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, mate. Thank you.